Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2022 Toyota Tundra Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its power moonroof. If you have your heated and cooled front seats along with your hard tunnel cover. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2022 Toyota Tundra Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. And then if you take a closer look just over on the side, you do have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Along with that, you do have your running boards on here, foldable mirrors, integrated signal lamps, heated mirrors, and then you'll find your blind spot indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just looking at there's another vehicle right beside you. Smart key system with it as well. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is blue. Now, taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you do have your gray interior. Power driver's seat with lumbar support. Now, as you can see, you do have your auto stop and start, automatic high beam, seat steering wheel. And then on the inside of the driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls with your power folding mirror button, mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your Bluetooth connectivity, volume control, voice recognition, lane departure alert, mode select and seek function, and as you can see it does have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here, so if we actually take a closer look, you have your digital speedometer, well, I should say your ex uh, digital readout for your fuel economy on here. And as you can see, your digital speedometer will be located at the very top of the menu there. Exterior temperature gauge, and then you can also go through and take a look at your compass, as well as your lane departure alert, audio, and as you can see, you have a couple of different options located in here as well with your settings menu with a couple of other additional features which you can personalize for yourself. Now, if we take a closer look just down below here, you'll find your trailer brake. And taking a look now just at the center dash area, as you can see, you have a couple of different options located in here. One of the nice things with this is that you can actually go into your settings menu and set up multiple driving profiles for yourself. So if multiple people drive the vehicle, you can personalize each setup for each person. Now with that, you do have your wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on here as well. It does come with the Sirius XM satellite radio as well. And if you want, you can also hook it up with your Entune app suite using the Toyota app in order to actually utilize some of the other app applications that you can use on here as well. And taking a look just down below, you do have the dual zone climate control settings with the USB and traction control on and off with your hazard lights. Wireless charging pad equipped with a 10 speed automatic transmission. And as you can see, you do have your drive mode, tow haul, and you have the 4x4 select located down below here as well. As you can see, you do have your removable tray on here as well. So if you need access to the center console, it is available for you. And then if you take a closer look at the very top here, you have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated garage door open controls, SOS connect, open and close for the power moonroof and sunglass case holder. And taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there, making things much easier for you when you're backing into a stall. As you can see, you can also change up the backup camera view as well and your line segments just located over on the far right hand side. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate. Now, located on your rear bumper, you're going to find your parking sensors located right across, and it's a three-piece rear bumper, so in the event that you damage the one section, you just have to replace the one segment, connectors for your towing, spare tire will be located underneath, and then on the back of the tailgate, you have the backup camera as well. So you have the rear hatch release located in the center there as well. And then if we take a closer look, just over on the left-hand side, you do have the easy release for the tailgate so if your hands full and you can't actually reach up to open up the tailgate in the center there you can go over on the side and actually pop it open for yourself now you have a couple of areas located on the left right front and back side where you can tie down some loose cargo just so it's not shifting around in the back of your bed just while you're driving and then you have the bed cleats in the back as well for the bed rail system 
So you can readjust the cleats or take them out all together, just whatever suits your own personal needs. And then you do have the hard tunnel cover on here as well, which is nice because if you have any cargo that sits in the back bed and you don't want it getting hit by the elements or you just don't want people seeing what you have back there, it comes in handy. And then if you have some cargo that sits up a little bit higher, you can fold it up to the very front there. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.